Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Dennis Bermudez. Possible fight of the night candidate, possible fight of the year candidate. How are you feeling about your performance in that fight and everything that you put into it right now? Um, overall, I'm feeling good, you know, that the fans got what they wanted. Uh, me personally, I'm, I'm my own toughest critic. Uh, there are mistakes made in the fight that we got to fix and, and try and get better. And what exactly, is there anything specific that you felt in the fight could have gone a different way than it did? Um, I think I had a few opportunities to finish, whether it was in the first round when I was, you know, sitting on his head or, or in the third round when he was dead tired and, and I didn't have enough endurance to just put the nail in the coffin. A lot of what I loved about you, reading about uh, just your background and things leading up to this fight, is your pure aggressive nature. And a lot of the things that you say often reflect things that maybe pro wrestlers would say when they walk out. Is that any kind of influence on how your style is going into the octagon? Um, I don't, I don't know. Overall, it, it's fun. It's 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 and it's entertaining. I'm entertaining the fans, you know. And the WWF guys, you know, they're always having, you know, they're having they're having fun with it. So that's what I'm trying to do is have fun with it and you know lay the smack down or, or whatever it may be. So this far, you've already had three fights inside of the octagon and um, wins, excuse me. And in those wins, you have two bonuses. So on this one, are you actually looking to get another bonus? I mean, money is good, you know. I wouldn't say no, keep it, you know. So if we get a bonus, that'd be awesome. And uh, you know, it just puts the label on me that I'm a goer. That I'm, you know, I'm coming hard and I'm I'm here to win fights. After that first loss that you had with Diego Brandao in the Ultimate Fighter, you've definitely made a rebound and a statement that you're not going to try to lose at all ever again. You go at it and everything that you do. How tough was Matt Grice, and how much of a testament is it to the fighter that he was? Oh man, Matt Grice. Matt Rice might be my toughest opponent uh, to date. Um, you know, he's a hard guy. You know, he gets in there. He's a grinder, and he's 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 like myself. You know, he's, he comes from a wrestling background, and uh, he wrestled Division One, and he's you know likes to throw hands. So it's like fighting a mirror image of myself. And how are you feeling here? Your hand is obviously icing, and is that anything that you felt that maybe happened to your hand in the fight, or is it just because you were purely going at it in four ounce gloves, like all thrown to the wind? Yeah, the, I've got small hands, so <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's four ounce gloves. I'm used to the working out with you know, 16, 14 ounce boxing gloves. So I mean, when I'm doing MMA striking, you know, like grappling. I'm, we're not hitting really hard like I was hitting in that fight. With the featherweight division the way it is now, where do you see yourself going next after this fight? Are you ready for one of the top 10 contenders to take on? Yeah, a thousand percent. I would like to test myself, and I think I'm there, you know, so let's see if we get that matched up. Is there anybody in particular that you're looking towards? No, I'm not that big of a star where I can start calling people out yet. <laughs> all right. Well, Dennis, we wish you all the best, man, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you.